Hello and welcome to the weekly financial modeling tips by the Startup Station. Today, we're going to talk about how to value pre-revenue startups. And this is not an easy subject because what exactly are we valuing, right? And can you value something which doesn't yet exist? How can you value a company which doesn't have any financial data, doesn't have a product on the market? What is this, right? Is it a wild guess? Is it just the founder's manipulation to give up the desired equity stake, right? Or we just like massaging the data to get to a certain outcome? Is that a financial fact? But if so, is it a uh, made up financial fact or is it based on something that has some truth to it? Okay, or is just a result uh, of the supply demand dynamics? Okay. Well, um, if you know the Startup Station a little bit, you will know that we uh, stand behind our opinion that a pre-revenue valuation should be based on financials, but they have to be done properly. Otherwise, it becomes a wild guess or a founder's manipulation to give up the desired equity stake. In the worst case scenario, it will just be... Uh, basically driven by supply demand dynamics so you will get a term sheet where an investor will decide for you what the company is worth and you will really have no way to contract the offer because you're not going to have any basis for negotiations so let's first agree uh what the revenue start evaluation represents right and what it represents if you really think about it is the value of the company's business plan okay or rather the value of the quantitative representation of the business plan or the financial model, right? Because if you don't really have a project on the market, right? If you don't have a product on the market, if you don't have revenues, then that's the really the only thing which we can value, right? And this is our growth strategy and in the strength of our business plan, we indirectly translate the team's track record and your patents because it will allow us to capture market share potentially faster and maintain it for longer, et cetera, et cetera, right? And so now let's talk about what this means in terms of the valuation drivers, right? Um, all valuations are based on the form of a cash flow called the free cash flow, right? And what this cash flow is based on is on the company business model, which is clear, right? How many revenue streams you have, how you think you're going to generate demand, what are you going to charge your clients or, uh, or users, okay? Proof of product market fit, right? Why is it important for pre-revenue? It just gives more credibility to um, the growth rates that you're going to generate, right? If you understand the market, if you understand how quickly you can get users or convert customers, it helps. Of course, it depends on your product development timeline and then your regulatory capital constraints, right? So it depends on the stage in which your company is. It also depends on risk, right? So, and that is reflected um, as the discount rate of those cash flows. And the discount rate depends on the company stage. Obviously, the earlier you are, the higher the risk, right? The higher the discount rate, as well as the team's track record, which actually works in a different direction, right? It helps to reduce the discount rate because it helps to reduce the risk. And the other factor is it's the required investor's return, right? And then here we're working on the market supply demand, right? How, what is the appetite for investment in your industry, uh, in your country? Uh, on your track record, of course, as well as the investor's risk tolerance. So the final point that I want to make is that a pre-revenue startup valuation based on everything that we've discussed should not be a wild guess. It should not be uh, uh, just manipulated to get to a certain uh, equity stake without a proper justification. It should be based on a financial fact. And of course, the supply demand dynamics um, they manifest themselves in a discount rate and in a required investor's return and potentially some other valuation concepts. And here you go. Please like the video below, share it with your friends and colleagues, and sign up to our YouTube channel for more financial modeling tips every week. If you want to learn how to model your venture in a credible way, please sign up for our masterclass, Build Credible Financials for Your Venture. The link is in the description. Thank you.
and I will see you next week.